you are watching jesus loves on tv ningal paarthukondirukkad ungal jesus loves on tv Good evening, my sisters and brothers. I thank you for joining me again. And we're going to start off with prayer because how many know prayer changes things? Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I thank you for each and every person. And most of all, God, I thank you for who you are. I thank you for transforming lives. I thank you for the wonderful change that's coming over us right now. Lord, I speak blessings over Oh God upon our lives the blessings of the Lord that make us rich and add of no sorrows. We thank you God. We praise you that you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider, the God that's more than enough. And we thank you, we praise you, we glorify you. Most of all, Lord, for your anointing that breaks every yoke to rest, rule and abide within our lives. in Jesus name. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. I'm excited, praise God, not just tonight but always for what God is doing and what he's getting ready to do in our lives. How many know God is not a God that he shall lie? Whatever God promised he will do, he will do. Hallelujah. Word of God said, "My word shall not return back unto me void but it shall accomplish he didn't say maybe but it shall accomplish everything that it's been sent out to do i thank god for the second part of the teaching thinking with the mind of christ how many know we got to have a mind of christ in order to make it we got to have a mind of christ in order to walk therein and receive all of his promises knowing that his promises are yes and amen for us and how that do you our theme scripture for this series is let this mind be in you which is also in Christ Jesus we got to have the mind of Christ if it had not been for the lord on my side where would i be we got to know that it's in the word of god Hallelujah. We got a hiding place. It's in the word of God that God delivers. He moves mountains. He puts things in order. Praise God. God is a God of order. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And tonight we're going to talk about hallelujah in order to think with the mind of Christ. We must have his characteristics. We must have the characteristics of God. No one is perfect except Jesus because the word of God said to mark the perfect man and that's Jesus Christ all by himself. Hallelujah. How many know I hear God say tell my people I'm never weary and I will not let them fall. We got to have the mind of Christ. We got to have the characteristics of Christ. And how many know our mind is the seat of our emotions and our thinking? Praise God. So if a man thinketh, so is he. Praise God. Hallelujah. We must become we must become more like Christ. You know that song goes, "Oh how I long to be like you." Psalms, praise God, 119, 15 reads I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. Meditate. How many know when you meditate you're studying? You're reading the word of God. Cuz you can't be like Jesus unless you know what the word is saying. That's how he transforms us through his word. So that's why I'm saying take on the characteristics of God. Praise God. And precept means the meaning of precept means it's a general rule to regulate your behavior. If your behavior is out of order, then you're not going to you're not you're not thinking with the mind of Christ. Remember our series for right now is thinking with the mind of Christ. Precept upon precept our behavior has to line up. Our thought pattern has to line up with the word of God. Remember we're teaching on thinking with the mind of Christ. Praise God. See, I must think with the mind of Christ because only with the mind of Christ I can make it. 
Only with Jesus, I can enter in and receive what he has for me. Joshua 1, 8 states, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate. Again, that word meditate, praise God. You're not going to be reading the word 24 hours a day, but as you meditate on it, as you go throughout your day and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I glorify you. I, Lord, I thank you for what you're doing. I praise you for what you're going to do. I thank you for moving every hindrance, every blockage from out the way. See, that's my that's the kind of God we serve. Praise God. As we meditate on him day and night. You know, the word of God said a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You met your thoughts are evil and you want to do this, you want to do that, you don't, you're not thinking with the mind of Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Things are going to begin to happen. Not good things at that. But as we meditate on the word of God. Hallelujah. God got room to, to move things around, to do things for us. Order my steps in your word. We got to ask God to order our steps in his word. Again, Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe, praise God, and do a According to all that is written, written in it. But then you will, it didn't say maybe, you will make, he will make your ways prosperous. And then you will have good success. How many of you know the word God said, I desire that you prosper and be in good health. Praise God. But how many know it's based on conditions? We have or we have things that we have to do and or and our mind thought and our mind level has to line up with the word of God. The word of God also says we have not because we ask not. What are you asking God for? What are you believing God for? Praise God. Thinking with the mind of Christ. Praise God. Uh, the word of God helps to strengthen our mind. You know, we 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 got to have strength. We got to be able to say, okay, devil, you're out of my way. Okay, devil, I believe God. I know God I, 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 uh, will do great exploits in my life. I'm moving you out of my way. God wants to, and he will. He didn't say maybe, but he said will. He said, I am the Lord thy God. I change not. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. God don't change. We might change, but God remains the same. How many know that his blessings are, are yes and amen? Praise God at all times. But we got to put on the whole arm of God, the breastplate of righteousness. And we got to think with the mind of Christ. Our character has to line up with his word. Praise God. God, I hear God said, I want to do a new thing for my people. Whatever you ask for shall not be denied, said the Lord, if we ask according to his will. It's in God's timing because sometimes God got to rearrange, put things in order. But God, I hear God saying, I'm working it out. I'm working it out. I'm not a God that I shall lie, praise God. Hallelujah. Our thoughts have pattern. Have, have, it's, it's a pattern. It's our thought pattern has to line up. But our thoughts also have power. It has power. Word of God said, greater is he that's within me than he that's within the word. Our, last week we told on how our, our, our mind and our heart, um, out of our heart flows the issues of life, has to line up with the word of God. Proverbs 23, 7. For as he, a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So as you think in your heart, oh, I'm, this struggle is too hard. 
I'm not going to make it. The devil is a liar. God said you have not because you ask not. The word of God also says to make your request known unto the Lord and prayer and supplication unto him. Praise God. God knows all things, but he wants us to make our, his, our request known unto him. Word of God also says a double-minded person is unstable in all his ways. You know, we fall down, but we get up. You know, we got to think and we, we got to run. Hallelujah. Scripture come, coming up in my spirit, run and not grow weary. Thinking with the mind of Christ, we got to say, Lord, help me to meditate. Casting down those vain imaginary thoughts that's not of God. Bringing them into captivity and obedience of God's word. Only by faith can we enter. Only by faith can we stay. Thinking with the mind of Christ. We can make it. How many know you can make it on broken pieces? Hallelujah, if you stand. And having done all to stand, stand. Praise God. Girl, girl with the preparation of the gospel, the sword of the spirit, the word of God. That's the only way we're all going to make it. Hallelujah. We might miss it sometime, but we got to get back up. Lord, forgive me and get back up again. Praise God. There has to be a craving to be like him. You can't say, okay, I'm saved and you don't have no desire. It has to be, a, if you're truly saved and you repent, word of God said, Romans 10, 9 and 10, repent, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thy shall be saved. If you truly repent it from the bottom of your heart, it's going to be a craving. It's going to be a will. God's not going to break into nobody's will. It's going to be a will to grow and to be more like him. Oh, how I long. To be like you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I want to walk in your statues, Lord. I want to walk in your ways. I want to be like you. I want to put on the whole armor of God. I want to think with the mind of Christ. Remember, our topic is thinking with the mind of Christ. John, and um, one characteristics, another characteristics of God the main one that I'm going to talk about tonight is love. How many know God is love? Praise God. He said, I am the Lord thy God that change not. God is a loving God. He doesn't change. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The word of God said, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. See, we thank God, hallelujah. Love and kindness have I drawn thee. And God is saying, I want to draw my people near to thee. Draw me nearer, nearer to you. In order to be drawn near to God, praise God, we got to have a yearn. That's why I had said we got to have a craving to be more like him. John 15, 12 says, this is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. See, Jesus loved us. He died and he rose with all power in his hand. He got up on the third day. I thank God he got up. He didn't stay there. And he died for our sins. Praise God. So that we can have a right to the tree of life. I thank God. Hallelujah. He's all powerful. He's almighty. He's that kind of God. I just got to say, walk therein. He died for us. And if he didn't love us, he wouldn't have died. They spit on him. They bruised him. They put nails in his hand and in his thighs. And he died on the cross between two thieves. But how many know he did it all for us? Praise God. That's the kind of power that he has. The characteristics. We're talking about thinking with the mind of Christ. And one of the characteristics is love. We must have love. When somebody hurt us, we must have especially love. Might fall in our flesh, but Lord, forgive me. We must have love. Praise God. God did it all for us. Now we got to stand. How 
Having done all to stand, stand. Praise God. Damn, sometimes crying, sometimes hurting, sometimes with tears, but we got to stand. What a mighty God we serve. We got to stand in the midst of tribulation. We got to stand knowing that God is love. God got the last say so. It's power in our words, in our thought pattern. So if a man thinketh, so is he, praise God. And remember, hallelujah, our, third, our theme uh, verse is, praise God, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. We got to have a mind of Christ. We got to put on the whole armor of God. Praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Proverbs 18, 21 says, uh, hallelujah, a man who has a friend must himself be friendly. But there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. How many know Jesus is that friend? He's our best friend. No matter what we do, no matter what we say, he's a forgiving God. He said he forgive you for everything except blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. And that's talking against God, Jesus himself. So we got to watch what we say. Our actions have power. Our mind has to, our heart has to line up with our actions and our mind has to line up with our heart. Remember, so if a man thinketh, so is he, praise God. God is working it out. How many know God is the only one that can transform us? Transform us. He sticks closer than a brother. He's that kind of friend, praise God. You might have a friend, you might say, well, I done had friends that gave up on me, betrayed me, said they don't want to be bothered with me. Yeah, we all have had those kind of friends. But how many know you got to shake the dust off of your feet and you got to go on in your life? Some things God allows to happen for a reason. Sometimes God wants to take you higher. They're in the way. I don't know. Sometimes that's the reason, praise God. And God knows what he's getting ready to do. And a lot of time, most of the time when God takes you high, you can't have a crowd, a lot of, uh, a lot of people around you calling you, talking to you every day. You got to learn to meditate on the word of God day and night. Praise God. I'm excited about that. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, that Jesus Christ said, I will never leave you or forsake you. See, that's a good God. How many know he's a good, good father? Yes, he is. Praise God. He's a good, good father. And Jesus is our father. He's our daddy. He's someone that we can go to, not at some times, but all times. He's a loving, good father. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, a friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. And a brother is born for adversary. And how many know the adversary is the devil? And I looked up the word adversary. It means dispute and an opponent. You know, when you're fighting in a match, we're fighting against the devil. Come on now. You're fighting against the flesh. Or the devil. You don't have to fight God. All you got to do is make your request known and believe and pray and seek his face. Seek me while I may be found. And that's the word of God. Praise God. The adversary is the devil. We know he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But the word of God said, I'll come that you might have a life and have it more abundantly in me. See, we can only have a life in Jesus. After this life, we just going, uh, uh, you know, our bodies might, uh, not might, our bodies will decay, but our spirit, we're going up to, with Jesus. And we're just going to be sleep. Praise God. So that's the kind of God, we, we have eternal life with him. I'm looking forward to that. 
looking forward to a uh, long life because the word of God said, with long life will I satisfy thee long as I take care of this body and eat and do healthy and do what I have to do. I must say that. A lot of people saying, oh, I'm going to do this and that. But they're putting everything into their body. They're not cleansing their body. Same way we have to cleanse our mind, we have to cleanse our body. How many know our bodies is the temple of God? Our body, all bodies is the temple of God. But we got to know that. A friend loves at all times. Even when you're wrong, even when you did something, sometimes you just need a listening ear. We all do. But that friend will listen and pray for you. Listen and pray. Hallelujah. And won't gossip. Hear God's thing. They gossip. Some people gossip. But they will listen and pray for you. And they will conceal the matter and hold it in prayer. Hallelujah. 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 We have a loving spiritual parent. That's Jesus. That's Jesus Christ all by himself. Praise God. He's a good, good father. That's who he is. Even when we do wrong, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, is there to pick us up again. We fall down, but we get up. Lord, help me. Strengthen me. Forgive me. Praise God. That's the kind of God we serve. So the Characteristic that one of the characteristics that I talked about tonight was love. Thank God uh, for his God paid love, his perfect love. Praise God that reaches down to the lowest. You can be out there in the street, drugs, alcohol. God loves everybody. He has no perspectable person. That's why we got to keep on praying. How many know the Lord is now? And he hears our cry. Pray for your loved ones. Pray for the person you know that's out in the street. Pray for them to be drawn in because that's the kind of God we serve. He has that God paid love, that perfect love that reaches down to the lowest. I'm excited. I'm excited. But we got to know this and we have to believe it. Hallelujah. 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 We, you know, and uh, praise God. Another characteristic of God is forgiveness. We got to forgive like God also forgave us. That's the characteristic that God has. He's a forgiving God. He's a forgiving God. A lot of times we can't get delivered. We can't get healed because we're holding things inside. We got to think with the mind of Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And remember, our topic is thinking with the mind of Christ and uh, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. We got to let go and let God have his way. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God forgave us. And we should forgive others. Oh, I'm not going to forgive them. They hurt me. They said this. They said that. Yeah, the people have hurt and damaged. Oh, I think almost everybody in the world, been, unless they're a little child, and some of them been hurt and damaged, okay, um, have been hurt and damaged. But we got to let go. Okay, God, this, this too shall pass. I'm going to let them go. Help me to cross over, to forgive them, because we can't do it without God's help. Only in Christ can we enter. Only with Christ Jesus can we stand. We need the help of Jesus, not sometime, but at all times. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Matthew 16, 14 says, but if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father, hallelujah, will forgive you your trespasses, your sins, whatever you have done. Again, so if a man thinketh, so is he, praise God. 
characteristic of God. We got to learn to forgive and let it go. Again, for if we forgive men their transgress, transgresses, transpasses, uh, forgive me, your heavenly father will forgive you of your transpass, your sins. Because you could think an evil thought about somebody and you have sin. Word of God said we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Our, our, our mind pattern, like I said before, is the seat of our emotions. It's our feelings. And it, from our, it, it comes from the, the mind to the heart. So we got to learn to let go. He hurt me. She hurt me. Let go. You can't keep being around toxic people that constantly hurting you as well. You, so you got to step away. I don't know no other way, but say step away. Give them to God. Pray for them. Pray for them that despitefully use you. Pray for them. Knowing that Jesus Christ got it. He said, I am, am in control. I'm the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Praise God. The Lord's Prayer says in Matthew 6, 12, Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Praise God. So it's telling you, Mary Lynn is not saying it. The word is saying, we got to forgive. We got to let go. Somebody could have, oh, I hear God saying, somebody have taken money from somebody. You know, it's rough out here. Money, stolen, taking money. Word of God said, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. He said, I shall repay. We got to let go. Let God do it. Only by faith can we enter. Only by faith can we stand. We got to forgive and we got to let go. Hallelujah. There's evildoers all over the world. Oh, look, look, look what's going on with all this war and all this killing all over the world. That's not of God. God is a God of love, peace, and of sound mind. They don't have a sound mind, some of these people. Praise God. But we know, hallelujah, we got to think with the mind of Christ. We got to have the characteristics of God. And love, forgiveness is some of them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cast all your cares upon the Lord because he cares. I must tell Jesus, I cannot bear these burdens alone. I can't bear these burdens alone. I, I can't. I got I to gotta, I gotta have a little talk with Jesus. I got to tell him all about my problems. And how many know Jesus will make it right? Jesus, you'll feel that release in your spirit. Because remember, upon salvation, you have the Holy Spirit. We did a series on that a while back. Holy Spirit dwelling within you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God for the release. Right now, I hear God says some people are being released in their spirit. I speak a release right now. Unforgiveness. Some people have been raped, molested. Woo, God, help them to let go. I thank you for the chains being broken. I thank you, God, for helping them to forgive and to walk therein. Take away the hurt. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank God for the victory. You got the victory when you forgive. When you forgive somebody, you got the victory in the name of Jesus. I want to read Ephesians, praise God, 4 and 31. It says, let all, he didn't say some, let all bitterness, wrath, anger, calamity, and evil speaking be put, put it away from you with all malice. See, you know, we, we've been there. We all been there. You get malice. You get hurt, broken heart. Someone hurt you. They did this to you. They did that to you. We got to let it go. We got to let it go, people, and say, you know what? You're holding me back from having what God has for me. You're holding me back. 
the devil, the adversary that we already talked about, the adversary is the devil, point blank, is holding you back. But you got to let go. Love, forgiveness. Hallelujah. And hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And be kind one to another. Hallelujah. Word of God said, I hear God say, tell my people, uh, word of God said, pray for those that despitefully use you. How many know the Lord will reverse the curse? Take away your hurt and it will be on, uh, you know, and, and, and uh, um, they will have to deal with it. They would have to pray. Okay. Pray for them that despitefully use you. It says, and be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God forgave you and me. God forgave us. He took it all upon the cross. That's the kind of God we serve. We've got to think with the mind of Christ in order to walk therein. We got to have the characteristics of Christ. We got to say, for God I live, for God I die. We got to let the flesh die daily. See, we all got a flesh. And how many know the flesh stinks? The flesh will make us get out of character, make us get out of order. But as long as we are thinking with the mind of Christ, letting go of the past, the hurt, the feelings, God is waiting. He said, I have no other God before me. You can't put your children's. Some people worship their car, their children's, their house. They think it's a goddess. You got to, you know, do all this. Uh, you know, they think, you know, their kids don't do no wrong. You know, all kids uh, 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 do some things. You never know what a child do when you're not looking. But, you know, as you train them, because the word of God said to train up a child in the way they might go. When they are older, they won't depart. But you never know. So we got to be open-minded and we got to think, <clears throat> excuse me, with the mind of Christ. We must think with the mind of Christ. Remember, our mind is the seat of our emotions and that, we, and that gets us all in trouble sometimes. Throw your kids on upon the Lord because he cares. Change only occur, 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 change for us will only occur, occur when we are ready. When we're ready. When we're ready to let go. When we're ready to say, God, I give this to you. I cast all my cares upon you because you care. You're a loving God. You're a good, good father. Hallelujah. Then that's when God can move on our behalf. He's that kind of God. He's that kind of God. Hallelujah. God is saying, I want, I, I want to, I want our, he wants our minds to line up with him. Praise God. We, we got to know, praise God, that God don't change. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Praise God. We got to have the characteristics of God. And love, forgiveness, praise God. And we got to take on the fruit of the spirits. Spirit, peace, love, joy, praise God. Hallelujah. Thinking with the mind of Christ. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. And, and remember, hallelujah, in order to think with the mind of Christ, we have to have his characteristics. If we don't change, see, we're changing every day. Nobody's perfect. We're changing. I'm changing right now. Hallelujah. As I prepare every week for these lessons, God is speaking to me. Trust me. He's speaking to me. He's telling me things. He's showing me things. And he wants to do that, the same thing for you. Because remember, he's preparing us to receive, not some, but all of his blessings. Blessings of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrows. In my conclusion, I just want to tell you to build your hope on things that eternal, meaning everlasting, 
meaning hallelujah. Oh, that it goes on and on and on. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Build your hope on things eternal and hold on to God's unchanging hand. And remember that in Christ we win and it's in him that we move and have our being. Thinking with the mind of Christ is a blessing. God wants to do us, do it for us. He wants our characteristics and our pattern, our mind pattern to come more like him. We're gonna close in prayer, but remember, whatever you need, God's got it. Praise God. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for your characteristics, helping us to love more, helping us to forgive. Hallelujah. Those that have hurt us, those that have bruised us, help us to cast all our kids upon you because you care, because you're a good, good father. How can you forgive us when we don't forgive those that have hurt, bruised, and, and uh, bruised us in any kind of way. So God, we give it to you tonight, not just tonight, but always God. Help us to stand therein and receive what you have for us. Oh God, and help us all to pray for those. We pray for those right now that have despitefully used us, that have hurt us, that have wounded us. Help them, Lord, bring a change about in their mind. Regulate their mind. Devil, we cast down every vain, imaginary thought that's not of God. And we bring it into captivity and obedience of God's word. God said we have not because we ask not. I thank you, God, that you are a good, good father. You're a loving father. I thank you that you don't change. You're the same God yesterday and today and forevermore. And help our thought pattern to line up with you as we think with the mind of Christ, and as we meditate on your word day and night. I thank you, God. I thank you for helping us to hold on to your unchanging hand. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen.